Hey guys, today we're going snowshoeing in Beaver Creek, Colorado. Let's go. So today we are snowshoeing for the very first time. We each have our own snowshoes that we rented and we are headed up the lift to go snowshoeing at McCoy Park. Yeah. We're pretty excited because it's a beautiful day out. Uh, it's completely sunny. We are dressed in layers as not to get too warm. So as we heat up, we can kind of unzip our jackets, take our hats off. Um, very spring-like weather here in Colorado in February. So it's unseasonably warm, but we are having a fantastic time. Yeah, so much fun. Eyes and ears on Tom. Hi. So, you got our snowshoes on. See, they have spikes, so they keep you from falling down the slopes. They grab the snow. So, we're going to walk and see how this goes. It's a beautiful day for it. Yes. View. This is the best way you can social distance of any sport because there is not a single soul out here. So, no mask required if you're within your own pod. Yay! Okay, so we're halfway into our snowshoe trip. How are you doing? Legs hurt. Your legs hurt. Yeah, this is probably a little harder work than downhill skiing, um, and it is quite warm, so everybody is trying to take off their hats and jackets as much as possible but um it's fun it's beautiful it's just a very good workout so if you want to do something in the mountains in the winter uh, that burns a lot of calories and you don't want to downhill ski this is low injury rate <laughs> it just takes a lot of effort but you're over under on the snowshoeing it's a good workout it is a good workout we snowshoed for a little over two hours we're yeah. back down the mountain we took the lift down. We have the snowshoes still on because we're kind of going, walking around a little bit down here, but very good workout, yeah, very yeah. good activity for a day that you're not skiing and looking yeah, it's for really something. Pretty up there too. It's really pretty. Um, our suggestion would be that if you're gonna go up, try to go up a little earlier in the day, bring some snacks, bring a backpack. Bring a back. <laughs> so have one person bring a backpack, have them and put some water in there, some snacks in there, and give yourself enough time so that you can stop, have a snack, um, and then really enjoy it, make a day of it. Yeah. Um, we only did about two and a half hours, so, which is fine. <laughs> I'm still breathing heavy, um, but really, really, really fun, really good activity for, you know, the winter time in the mountains for if you're not gonna ski. So the snowshoeing was fun. I honestly think that they should have had more trails. No, they that, had plenty, we just didn't go on them. We didn't have enough time. Yeah, you no, know, like, like more downhill and then uphill, downhill, like, more fun trails that we should have went on. Yes, we should have gone so, on more trails. Yeah, so yes. we should have gone on more trails. Well, we also then... went at a bad time. If you're gonna go snowshoeing, you had to go either a little bit earlier. Yes. Or like, yeah, actually it's just a little bit earlier. Yeah, cause... I would say snowshoe in the morning, take a break, then snowshoe in the afternoon. Yes. yes. Sutton wasn't gonna make it for much longer anyway. So did you have fun snowshoeing? Yeah, yep. it was fun, it's just tiring. Tiring, very tiring. But overall, if you're looking for something to do in the mountains, especially in Beaver Creek, we think snowshoeing, the day that you're not gonna ski, great, great option. We've never done it before and we've been here many times. Oh, mm -hmm. and you always have to make a snow angel when you go up this. If you go up there, there's like five feet of snow, something like that, and you jump in it and you make a snow angel. Yes. I did that. And we'll insert the video here of what Savannah did. <laughs> okay, guys, thanks for watching. That is Thank our you. tip on snowshoeing in Beaver Creek and Vail, Colorado. See you later. Bye. Bye.